Okay, everyone, this game contains depictions of blood and death, so if you don't like it, please leave. Um, I will read the full list of trigger warnings right now. Uh, cursing, anxiety attacks, natural disaster, shaking screen, and light flashes, slight physical violence, depictions of blood and death, implications of emotional abuse, workplace harassment, ace phobia, which is Lenin's root. So, yeah, uh, I, if you don't like that, please leave. Um, be safe. Uh, what was I? What's our glass? Oh! This is the goal! I've never, I've never seen an Atomi game which has this. I meant to that. So, like, oh, so we store things here? This is so, like, <gasps> is this us? Oh, <gasps> so cute! Okay. Let's just start. Stop time. Wait, what does stop time mean? Adulthood. Oh! <gasps> A word that everyone's heard of, a word that society constantly talks about, but no one really knows what it means. Yeah, I kind of forgot to get into this game. This is Hummingbird's Crown. I don't actually know that much about it, except that it's a cool game and it has clocks in it, so I, I liked it. Um, I knew, I know something to do is like going back in time, but I don't know what the rest of the story is, so we're going to just see how it goes. And Mouse is here, so hi! When does it start? What does it entail? Ooh. Some say it's about having a job and paying your bills. Uh -huh. Others say it's about coming of age and being allowed to drink alcohol. Legally, that is. Uh, fair, fair. <laughs> there are even some who claim it's all about popping your cherry. No, that's not, that's not needed. All in all, people generally agree that adulthood is about being mature and self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. But in a world that's full of immaturity... In a world where humans are interdependent, is that really enough to describe it? That, this is a really interesting question. When a bird leaves the nest, it spreads its wings. Mm -hmm. Can people spread their wings too? I, I assume that, like nature, right? Like lions, they leave the pride and stuff, they make a new pride. And like dwarves, they make a new pack or whatever. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. We must be the same. Chapter 1, The Hummingbird Crown. I don't know how far I'm going to get into like recording, but we're going to see. May 1st, 10.37pm. Ren's apartment. Bedroom. I don't know how to pronounce this name. Like, is it Ren or Ren? I don't know if that sounds the same, but I'm like saying it differently in my mind. Oh no. Oh yeah! First place again, baby! Woo! The game and gods are not on my side today. Oh, look, it's profile pictures! You're full of shit! Why? How do you get all the best items? Seriously? This game is fucking unfair. <laughs> this sword. Oh, this is up. This is me. This is Sumia. <laughs> Damn right it is. Shouldn't the one in lead get the worst items to compensate? I kept getting shitty thunderclouds. Why would I need this garbage when I'm in last place? What game is this? Blah, blah, blah. You're such a sore loser, Lonin. Oh, Lonin! Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Who was the one who lost it after I massacred <laughs> her with my Pokemon team? I love Pokemon. That's different. My favorite Pokemon is Espeon. <laughs> I'm back. Hmm, I don't know, Kana. I think he got you there. Ooh. This is us, right? Yeah. Ren, I thought you'd be on my side. Ren, Ren, that's my name. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Shut up, Lonin. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Taking advantage of the upcoming weekend, a uh, long weekend, Kana, Lennon, and I decided to hang out via Discord voice chat at for one of our usual online gaming sessions. The good kind of sessions. Oh, stop! This is so cute. Okay, yeah, we're all losers. What do we play next? Oh, anything, as long as it's not an MMO. What's MMO? It's like the multiplayer something something. <laughs> Oh, don't you worry, my dudettes. Yeah, we don't do that shit here. That's so real. <laughs> you guys just suck at... Uh-huh. We, we don't, don't talk, talk about, about MMOs, MMOs Canaria. Canaria. Oh, it's not even sync. Oh. OMFG, fine. You babies. What then? Uh. Oh, there's this game where we... Oh. No. no. Oh, okay. I was, I was interested to hear. But I, I didn't even say anything yet. <laughs> It's another RPG maker horror game, right? Oh, how would that work multiplayer though? Masika, how can you read my mind so easily? 
Oh, don't tell me. Were you thinking about playing one too? Oh my Lonin, god. Lonin, we just played one last week. Uh, that's not a long time. But it's good. What about Anime Crossing? Oh! Girl, you know it! I'm so down for that! Oh, so let's play that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Me too. I haven't played that one in a while. I want to visit your towns again. But I haven't. I don't have Animal Crossing. Like, I need, I need to get it. It's so cute. Same! You guys won't believe the gazillion outfits I made for my avatar! They're the cutest little. Mm -hmm. What? Huh? Who's mentioning this late? Ren, are you busy right now? I need you to look at this. My hubby said he's applying to a writing con con contest. Can you believe it? He can't spell to save his life, that man. Check for grandma too, please. You're amazingly fast. Ugh. I have to do work? This is my off time, bro. What's up, Ren? Something wrong? <sighs> it's my boss. Oh, stop. What? Again? She better have a good fucking reason for messaging you this late. You should, you should just, you should just decline it. It's not our job. I... Maybe she sent her a meme. Why was she? She's not you, Lonin. Oh, sorry. I love the cat. The fucking cat. The cat picture. Something something husband. Something something contest. Oh. Uh, something something. Do this totally work related oh thing for me. I hate those kind of like this. That's not my use. That's not my job. Oh dear. My darling doesn't know how to spell the word annoying. Whatever shall I do? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, that about sums it up. Well, stop. What are you, her employee or her personal assistant? You're plenty busy with that, uh, memo, whatchamacallit? Memo? The memoir, right? Oh, what's a memoir? It's like a, like a novel, right? That's the one. Yeah, this one really caught me off guard. The author made it about some kind of deja vu experience. To think he wrote a whole oh. book about this is very... Mysterious. A whole book about a deja vu experience? That must be like a long experience. Adventurous? Ooh! <laughs> Peculiar. Oh. You editors and your fancy words. So, edi uh, editors. Oh, stop. You're gonna make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> Not video editors, dude. You guys are a different race with all your meme vocabulary. Oh, he's a video editor. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Lol, where is the lie? I've always known we were special. What? Did you just say the word, word lol? Ugh, lol? What is it this time? Just mute her, girl. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I think I will. Uh, Ren, Supi, you won't believe who I just had to know it. Remember my friend Camelia from gym class? We happened to see each other at the mall. That's what I found out. Camelia has a nephew who's about your age. Oh, that's not... No, I don't, I don't really want that please. <laughs> Why don't you try meeting him? I could set up a day for you. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> Kill me now, I'm gonna shit again. Ren? Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Better meet my boss this time. Uh huh. Hmm? You go, girl! Yeah! So, are we playing something else or what? Play. Actually, I think it got a bit late. Oh. Well, I'm an animal crossing. Oh, I'm an anime crossing, guys. Anime, I'm, an, I'm an anime crossing. Hmm, that's true. Ah, uh, well, we can just plan a new gaming session later. Mm -hmm. Sounds good? Yeah. You betcha. I love oh, gaming. you fool. One does not simply plan a gaming session for later. Set a date, Canaria. Canaria. A date. Can you stop memeing for two fucking seconds, Lonin? We can do it in the group chat later. Yay. Oh, <laughs> foo-foo. My work here is done. Let's talk soon, my dudettes. What? What? <laughs> People say that in real life? See you around, guys. Bye, ya. Bye bye. After ending the Discord voice chat, I turned off my computer and prepared my usual bedtime ritual Cam Camel tea and a proper teeth brushing. Also, oh, that's a chill. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Did they send a meme already? <gasps> Oh, block of gamers. The Karen you love me. Guys, I almost forgot. Don't tell me you didn't defoster me again. Shit, I don't know, I was actually joking. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay, I'm ready now. I can do that? Okay, let me I wanna let me just explore. Let me just explore. No photos. I love this background, it's so cute. Oh, options are here. Oh, that's nice. Um okay, let's go back. Kinda the hedgehog. <laughs> 
Go go fast. Go go fast. Oh, sorry. I love those opera. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, 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 guys. You babies. Sorry, can't believe this. What is it, Connor? I love just like oh, I love this mood. The stage is yours, you that. I've never, I've never heard somebody say do that in real life. Oh come on, don't leave us hanging. We demand answers. Oh, gam gam game game con. Oh, <gasps> it can't be. Are oh, those the legendary game con tickets? Ding ding ding. I'm with you, Kana. I got them for my bro. He's actually one of the um event planners for game con. Oh, that's so nice. That's so cool. <laughs> and I write, but don't tell him I said that. Let me know. Anyways. I'll be a bunch of stuff, board games, indie games, merge. Oh, stop! I really want to go. I want to go to one of these. We should totally go together. Yeah, we do. Hi! You in, Ren? I know it's a bit sudden, but if we go, the trio will finally be able to meet in real life. I mean, can you believe Logan, uh, Logan met my bourbon on me? What? How? They won't tell me. I don't get these losers. It's a mystery. Whatever. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. It'll be a, there'll be a game booth for Gridget's game. Let's show you serious. Is it awesome or is it awesome? We gotta go. What's Gridget? Hell yeah. Besides, it's a long weekend. Yeah, finally. Ah, uh, well, I actually have work tomorrow. You shame me, really? Boo, boo. Welcome to the world of freelance photography. Oh, such a cool job, like freelancing. Oh, that's so cool. You guys have no idea how many people email me for work during the holidays. Oh, yeah, because like, oh, if it's like a holiday, it's like Christmas, you have to keep, oh, that's true. Scratch that. Especially during the holidays. Ugh. But I saved the weekend for this. Go green. No one shall interfere in the first official meeting of the flock of the gamers. You better not, oh, I'll commit a So, right? Well, it'll be awesome to meet you guys in person. Plus, uh, uh, I could learn something new. <laughs> yeah. Girl, totally. I'll introduce, you to, I'll, introduce you, I'll introduce you to my bro, Garvin. Garvin? I've never heard someone called Garvin before. I'm sorry. It's just like a. I was like Sherlock Holmes, bro. No, like that one TV show, Sherlock. I didn't. I mean, I kind of liked it, but it was kind of really stupid. Like, you couldn't guess. You know, I'm going to go a whole rant about it, but there. This is from my TV show. Now, I'm sure he wouldn't mind you asking him some questions about the event. He's also a crazy with some game, uh, some of the game devs. Yeah, you're the best, Kana. I know. Oh, wait, but where is Game Con held? You all live in Solstice City too, right? Yeah. Yep. Gavin told me they recently opened this new building called Eon. Apparently, his boss was dying to try it, rent it. Oh, is, is that good? What's wrong with the building from last year? Before the location, it was it really was in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh, don't remind me, I couldn't go last year. Me neither. I could, but it was a nightmare to traveling that far. But anyway, that's not all. Ian is a building supposedly can hold about 3,000 people. So, so this has been going on for a while. This con event has been going on for a while. And they've all live in the same city. But if they all couldn't meet, that means the city is huge. A huge city. Maybe like London. <laughs> also, remember how I told you about how Gidget's game does have a booth? It's because a lot of games that this year are coming from the overseas. That's so cool. You betcha. Poor bro had to had to get a whole box of conversions because of that. Let me out. Let me out. And find us. I never thought about that. Like people overseas had to get like converters for their iPhones. The best thing about this place, John Wall, is that it's only one block away from Social Street Main Street. Oh my And the right is is this of uh, all the planets have a line. I'm so glad it's close to the time. Yeah, it's kind of a midpoint from all our, from all our homes, right? Oh, <gasps> nice detective skills, dude. I'll try. Let's meet this Saturday then, okay? June 4th, don't forget. June 4th, okay. Can't wait. Oh, this is so cool. Same. I wish I could go to the con. We'll finally see each other in person. I really want to meet them. Will they act the same in real life? I mean, we only voice chat, but... <sighs> I mean, I don't know. It's like, it's scary meeting people, you know, from online. I just hope I don't disappoint them. You won't, don't worry. You can't disappoint any of you. I mean, most people focus on themselves anyways. Going f June 4th, 12 12 07 pm, Solstice City Main Street. Ooh, I like this. Guess I'm here after all, just one more block. A few days later, I arrived at Solstice City Main Street, which was like Con like Connor said, just a block away from the Eon building. It was finally time for the flock of gamers to meet. This is most likely like America, because they have blocks. It's a bit early. Should I wait for them outside or grab a snack at the cafe? Can't really enter the building through and through without my ticket after all. Oh, look! There she is! Hi! Hello! Ben! Hi! There's voices. Hi! I saw a lady who could barely contain her excitement and a lucky guy smiling mischievously. It was them. Okay, this fits her voices. This is so cool. She, like, she, she gives like a beachy vibe. He gives like a meme vibe. The flock of gamers. My flock of gamers. Kanrinia and... I don't know why I say that. Like, Kanrinia and Lanya. No, no. My friends. Girl! Oh my god! It's really you! She's so excited! I love her! 
face beaming canary I took my hands and hers and started jumping in place like a little kid guys and then there was a swollen gulp of air gas could it be Renny gee Renny who has incomparable defense skills in Pokemon battles he's so cringe who says like gasp in real life oh my god oh he's oh he, no don't do that you know what? Oh, I, oh, I don't want to say that. There wasn't only. Oh, Lily still say messed up. The, okay, no, I don't. I can't. I'm not gonna like Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie. Wait till you see my puzzle solving skills and Professor Kaylin. Yeah, impossible. Without any hint coins. Uh, I don't even know what that game is, but yeah, bro. Exactly. I I'm good at puzzle solving. Isn't it? <laughs> Girl, you should totally challenge Galvin to see who solves the most without any hints. Sure. What? But. What about his records? Renny, records exist to be surpassed. Believe me, you've got this in the bag. I don't remember what was in it. <laughs> am I that easy to read? Anyways, is no one really going to say it or am I going to have to get it out of you? Huh? Luna and I looked each other confused. What? <sighs> Can't be helped. I hope you guys are ready. For what? <clears throat> Why is it going like that? <laughs> it's group hug time. Yeah. I love group hugs. Oh. Ah, I <gasps> wanted to do this for months. My babies have finally come to mama. Oh, I love this. Oh, stop. <laughs> this is so cute. God, don't scare us like that. I thought it was your birthday or something. That's sad. That is sad. What are you on, dude? You know my birthday's in December. The most recent one was Ren's. When's my birthday? Okay, can you really blame me? There was a time when you said you wished you could change your birthday just so you didn't have to share it with Galvin. Oh, the twins? Oh, wait, no. Wait, maybe didn't share it. Oh, now that you mention it, I did say that, didn't I? Mm-hmm. But guess what? I only half mean it. But I'm tss. But I'm tss. What the fuck? <laughs> See? Follow Ren's example, dude. It's not like you to be such a downer. Not the as uh You take that back. What? <laughs> it's so <laughs> And so I read back and forth, continue for a few minutes. He reminds me of Travis. That's what he reminds me. Travis from um Aftermath, if you ever watch Aftermath's role plays, that's who. But I was I was like, who does this remind me of? Remind me of? Oh. Oh, this is cute. <gasps> Oh, this is so cute. June 4th, 1248 p.m. Elon building GameCon main era. Main era. Whoa, get a load of all those stands. And cosplayers! Can't wait to take pictures of everything! I really want to cosplay. I might, I might try cosplaying in the future. Oh, yeah! A game con time! Let's go! That was surprisingly accurate. Holy! Yeah! <laughs> Yay! A kid in a candy store we went around gawking at everything, pausing whenever we found something interesting. Kinda took a bunch of pictures of the event, cosplayers especially. especially. If, remember guys, if you're gonna take pictures of cosplayers, always ask for, ask for permission because it's rude to take pictures of someone without them knowing. While Lillian uh, semi-interviewed people on their experiences about GameCon, I almost lost him when he spotted his favorite gaming YouTuber. YouTuber? Is that like a VTuber? Like YouTuber? I don't know. <laughs> of course we made it sure to visit every game booth that caught our eye too. It was GameCon after all, and boy, there was a lot to see. Board games, card games, casual mobile games, VR games, and all sorts of computer indies of different genders. Wait, what the fuck did I say? Gender? Of different genres. There really was something for everyone, every type of game out there. And you can even find merch. If only they would have added free souls too, it would have been perfect. And then the moment finally came. It was time to visit the booth we were most excited about. Get it, right? Was it? Yeah. June 4th, 14.02pm. Eon building. Game con detective gadgets booth. Oh, a gadget? Ah, it's so cute! <gasps> I have to take a picture! Oh, scratch that! A lot of pictures! She's so real for this. Oh my god! That banner and the sign! Oh, look! They even have acrylic stand figures for sale! I love this! Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit! No, what? Exactly. Why would you say that? <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Oh my god. I can't. He's so he's so meme. -y. 
he he says so many memes that it's cringe. I, 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 oh. What he said? <laughs> Guys, let's take a picture together. He's so real for that though. A bunch of pictures I'm merch buying later. Woo! That was so fun! Woo! Oh, my wallet's screaming right now. Oh, it's, it's empty. <laughs> right there with you, buddy. Oh. If only my stomach wasn't screaming too, I'm fucking starving. Oh, I'm freaking starving. My bad, I didn't mean to swear. Oh, it's from Galvin. Seems the game devs panel is starting soon. What for yourself? Food, don't eat food. Get out of here. It's past six already? Mm hmm. Funny how time works, right? I'm hungry. If only I went by faster when I'm working. Anyway, Bro really outdid himself this time. Went out of his way to invite a really nice group. Woo! <laughs> That's so cool. I can't wait to ask him a bunch of questions. <gasps> right? Galvin, our hero. Oh, Galvin. Ugh, what I do on B, I just want to go home. But it looks like excited. I don't want to disappoint them. Oh, that reminds me. Ren, I have to introduce you to Galvin, too. He's a bit rough around the edges, but he's a good guy. I think you'll like him. Okay, okay. Why try meeting him? I could set a date for you. Oh, fuck. <gasps> stop. Why I think about it? Why I think about it? Uh, uh, fuck, stop. Why I think that? The kind of not like mom. Uh, yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, stop. Mm -hmm. Why? What? Bro! Oh my god. Wait here for me, guys. I'll go get Galvin. Okay. Be right back. Okay, you're gonna get Galvin? You're gonna get Galvin? Don't get distracted with cosplayers. I, I, okay. No promises! I'll wait, you're not supposed to me. Figures. Mm hmm. Y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. Whoa. Are you okay? I'm fine. Lennon gave me a few pats on the back. Yes, thanks. I'm... I'm fine. All good. Just choked on my own... spit. Oh, that's not good. On spit? On spit? Really, Ren? Why, why, why the hell did I say that? Why? It, that, was a, that was a perfectly fine response. Uh, I see. What, what, was wrong, what was wrong with the response? Oh god, even Lennon thinks that was just weird. Just make the... Earth picking smaller for me. Today was hectic, wasn't it? But it was a lot of fun. Uh huh. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy we were finally able to meet in person. Hope we can do this again when our schedules match up. Must be hard to like make plans if you're you have like such hect hectic schedules. Like, like, me too. I had a good time. Like irregular schedules. Like there's a there's a photographer, like um, a video editor, and what am I like a like a editor. So our schedules must look, like line up all the time. Uh, Ren? Mm -hmm. Huh? Y yes. Uh huh. Are you really okay? I'm fine. Uh, I. I'm fine. You look kind of uncomfortable. Oh shit! Really? Do I? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm going to wash my face. Sorry. Re Be right back. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> shit! 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 shit. Why? Why am I always like this? We were all having a great time before. Why? Why do I have to go and make things awkward? I was making so many weird faces too. He probably thinks I went to poop instead of washing my face. What if they think I'm not being genuine? What? That I was faking everything. What if? Guys, what some if real. They think I'm just an imposter. Guys, real thing here. I think she has like imposter syndrome or something like that. But like real thing. Well, uh, this is our all first time living. Like no one gives a shit. I'm being for real. If you think like this, like. That is perfectly normal. It's perfectly okay to um be like feel like anxiety, you know, and being anxious about meeting new people or being social. Um, you don't have to push yourself to be social. You just have to, I don't know. Society, society is basically built around being social, so it's kind of a hell if you if you feel anxious doing that. But yeah, I mean, my advice is to just try your best and. And that's like such like basic advice, like how do I how do I try my best? Like, like when like just remember that people are all wired similarly in their brain. People all have similar uh, thought processes, 
So people are most likely just focusing on themselves. We humans are really egocentric and we actually think about ourselves a lot. Like, I don't know if you... <laughs> like, oh, people, she's laughing about me. Like, most of the time they're not, you know? Like, just be you. Like, as humans, we are wired to not trust people who fake their emotions. So do not fake it until you make it. Like, just try and be as genuine as you can. And maybe, like... Just see, be, like people are more likely to stick by you if you're by if you're yourself, I mean, if you're not trying to force your emotions. You know what I mean? Like it's okay to be a little quiet. It's okay to be a little shy. It's okay to be like a little um to be anxious about socializing. But it's a part of life, and you got you just gotta get like deal with it. Like I don't know why. Like sometimes I wish I could not do that, but <laughs> um yeah. So my advice is this. Chill, be chill, and don't force yourself to like socialize. <gasps> like, oh, I have to socialize, otherwise it will hurt me. Like, no, no, people understand. People, if people don't understand that, then they're not really your friends, you know. Yeah, the obsession over. Okay. Oh, are we back? June 4, 14, 15 p.m. Yon Building, GameCon Main Area. <sighs> Oh shit! Who are you? Ah! <laughs> That's a real. No, not thanks to my uh, com uh my combination of running while overthinking. I bumped into someone hard. I sent the things they were carrying over the floor. Oh shit! Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, you're so mean. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh god. Huh? His face looks kind of familiar, and that badge. Seems he's part of the staff here. Honestly, what, what would you have done if they broke? These things aren't cheap and difficult to get. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Holy shit. Uh, I'm sorry. You have a scar on your face. I'm so sorry. Is that all you have to say? Yeah, I'm sorry. Holy shit, I'm so sorry. Huh? I already apologized. What else did he want me to do? Let's help him pick up the foot. Let's just help right. him. I'll help you pick everything so up. Bro, uh, bro, that's what I want to do in this situation. Good. Sorry. These look like adopters. They're kind of heavy. Maybe converters. I guess what Connor said about the soft eating allows you to true. The foreign devs probably needed them for like, the computers or monitors. Okay, looks like everything's in place. Sorry. Seriously, don't run here. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sorry. It wasn't a scar, it was a sweat mark. <laughs> Jeez, he could at least thank me. No. At least, to be, uh, though, to be fair, I was the one who bumped into him. <sighs> at least it will help me calm down a little bit. Oh, a little bit. I should find Kana and Lunan. I'm gonna be honest with them about my anxiety. But let Lunan know I, no, I'm going back to Gidget's booth. Huh? Huh? Why is it almost dead? I'm sure I charged it the whole night. That bird cosplayer's card what? game was cool. Huh? Right? A damn shame he wasn't selling it. Eh, whatever. What should we do now? Well, I was gonna say the game dev panel, but I just passed by the room after leaving the restroom, and they said it was getting delayed. Delayed? What? Are you serious? Yeah, something about equipment malfunctioning. Oh! Or whatever. <sighs> that fucking sucks! I was so hyped for it! Oh shit. Why is it kind of message us about the delay? She's always the first one to update about the stuff. Chill, relax, dude. It's not like they cancelled it. For now, at least. Chill, relax! Sorry, the way he said that was so like nice to my brain. <sighs> I guess. Well then, what happened? I don't know, man, but there were some problems yesterday, too. Uh -huh. So remember the exchange when it sent a ship on my spine? Oh! Wow. What the hell? Did you see that? What was that? Was that flash? Oh, for fuck's sake. If they have such a shitty power generator, you bet your ass I'm never coming again. Right there with you, man. What's happened? Shit! What? Lonin, I'm sorry for the wait. My phone. He wasn't there anymore. Lonin? Neither was Kana. They don't panic. Maybe they single him. I still have a lot, a bit of Barry. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> God damn it, why now? They must be in the panel room already. I think it was near the main area. Oh, what the fuck? Mr. Mike turned on the sound of electricity. That was the second time. Left and right, forward and backwards. No matter where I looked, my eyes only found those strangers. There's way too many people. I can't look for them like this. As I wrapped the sweat from my forehead before it touched the ground, I caught a stranger reflection in one of the TV monitors. I lifted my head to the ceiling. What the hell? Something small and black was staring at me. Something with red eyes. That's definitely like a pro or something. Is that a crow?
Oh shit. The fucking lights were no more. Darkness enveloped the eon building like the night covered the sky every evening. A few voices processed out loud in an equal manner of confusion and bewilderment. I felt crazy. There were vibrations under my feet. It was not exhaustion. A slow but steady uh, cracking sound reached my ears and I turned to look my eyes I turned to look my eyes as well. The walls were breaking. Oh. And then the first pillar fell. Oh dear. <gasps> the mild anxiousness from before turned into screams. People started running all over, even shoving themselves desperately searching for the safest area amongst the room. Out of my way, bitch! Why would you say that? Oh, you fucker! I know, I know, it's a panic. Oh, this, is this how people actually act, like in actual disasters? Holy. Some hidden on the tables, others tried to reach the front door, only to be crushed by a pillar. Oh my god, unlocked by a big piece of rubble. Oh, this is actually Oh, this is traumatizing. I'm so sorry to people who have to deal with natural disasters, bro. Like in England, we don't have that many. Help! Please, I don't want to die here! Oh god. Mommy! <gasps> the way they said that was so. I'm sorry. Like a hungry animal killing his prey. Young and building the crater violently, leading a storm of debris, blood, and chaos in his path. <coughs> Kana! Lonan! Oh god. The only response is one more tremors uh, and cries of people. <coughs> A certain crack startled me, but also dark I couldn't see where the imminent danger was coming from. Ah! By sheer luck, what hit me was a small piece of rubber, but I still left a, a rune on my forehead. The blood dripped all the way down to my chin. Ah! Oh, stop. Anna? Morning. And then, without any warning, and almost as if it was greeting me, a powerful vibration made itself known. It came from the earth, it came from my clothes. What? The shrine of whatever was shaking inside my pants pocket made them a bit translucent. I reached my hand to take it out. Pocket watch? When did I get this? Ran, look out! Who who said that? Oh. Who who said that? Who said that? What? What? Where the fuck am I? Date? Huh? Time? Huh? Location? Huh? Oh, it hurts. It, what the fuck? Where am I? Huh? Is that a person over there? I can't see. <gasps> oh, dude, this is cool design, I think. I can't really see. Who is it? Who has come back? I agree. Oh. What? Welcome back. Oh, welcome. Welcome back, Ren. I can't hear you. Rin. <gasps> you have such a cool design. <sighs> My head. <gasps> oh, God. Why are you yelling at that? Oh, God. <gasps> oh no. What? My room? Is oh this... yeah! First place again, baby! Oh my god. It's, this is a time travel part. <gasps> what? You're full of shit. Why? How do you get all the best items? What the hell? Oh, please! It's called being a great player, dude! Oh god. Uh, chance has nothing to do with being a great player. This game is rigged. Don't you think so too, Rennie? How can I be here? I was at the game con miss seconds Ren. ago. Wasn't I? Rennie, can you hear us? Did that really not happen? Oh, I must be out of my Ren. mind. Huh? Uh, sorry, guys. Yep. Hear you loud and clear. Uh-huh. Are you okay? Spaced out for a bit. Yeah, my bye, guys. Please tell me you're getting enough sleep or I'll kill your boss. Ooh. I am. Don't worry. I'm really okay. I guess work just left me a bit more tired this week. Things have been a bit hectic. You know you can talk to us, right? Um. Yeah, you don't have to bottle it all up, girl. Well-being comes first and all that. Oh, she said I love her personality. Damn right. Plus, we can always schedule gaming for another day. That's fine. Guys. I... Oh. Right, yeah. No way. What's up, Ren? Wasn't that your phone? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. My boss. Again? You're already tired as hell as it is, and she has the nerve to send you messages this late? Yay! Yeah. What did she say, Ren? Was it something bad? No. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just, I feel like she sent something similar before. <sighs> I can definitely see why you'd feel like you're having a deja vu moment. Ooh. 
Deja vu? Huh? Deja vu? Yeah, doesn't she basically text you for favors and more work? Mm -hmm. Well, when you put it that way, I guess it's the usual same old, same old. Yeah. Not that it's any good. <sighs> Another message? Just mute her, girl. Mute her, mute her, mute her. <laughs> you know what? I think I will. And a Camilla thing. That's what I found out. Camilla has a nephew who's about your age. Why are you doing? Yep, yep, yep. Huh? These are. No, there's got to be some kind of oh mistake. Oh my god, guys, I almost forgot. Mm -hmm. uh, don't tell me to defrost your meat again. <gasps> huh? Shit, be right back. <laughs> <laughs> you actually forgot. Oh, I wasn't even being serious. So, Lol. instead of calling, oh, instead of texting about it, we called about it. <gasps> All right, I'm ready now. Mm -hmm. Check your phones for a sec. The game calling ticket. Oh, God. This can't be happening. If I was in this situation, I would cry. Uh, Majika, the, the legendary game content. Who says that, bro? Sorry. Ding, ding, ding. Holy shit, Connor, that's so cool. But how did they? Oh, we moved the conversation along much faster, so we still in call. You bet your ass it is. My bro gave them to me. I was thinking, why don't we go together? Mm -hmm. Yes, hype. How he he says his text. What, what do you say, Renny? He actually says what he's thinking. Connor, can you tell me when the game con is being held? Oh right. GameCon actually starts on Thursday, but the tickets are for this Saturday. Okay. But didn't you already mention a convention a few days ago? Huh? Did I? It, really? I don't remember. So we don't actually remember. We just have a deja vu. Memory. Hmm. Let's see. Galvin only gave me the tickets yesterday, and I'm pretty sure I didn't mention it to you guys until today. Huh. That's not possible. Uh, don't worry. I must have confused it with another event then. Mm -hmm. What the hell's going on? Uh, don't mind, don't mind. At least you didn't confuse a tuna can with cat food. Ugh. Huh? It was one time, okay? Did I really get the time wrong? Just to make sure I grabbed my phone and observed the time. I was sitting with my laptop and I let my eyes travel to the bottom of the right corner of the screen. And guess what time it is, guys? May 31st, 11.49 p.m. Good lord, I would cry. Are you sure you're okay, Ren? You uh, <laughs> usually laugh when we joke around. Oh, yeah. I... Holy shit, it's almost midnight? Uh, I have work tomorrow. Uh, seriously? During the long weekend? What's a long weekend? I'm actually confused. Is it like, is it just like Saturday, Sunday, and the next day? Um, sorry to interrupt you guys. I think my phone and laptop's calendar got reset accidentally. What day is it today? Damn, girl, you really need to go rest ASAP. Oh. It's May 31st. Oh, God. Well, almost June 1st, actually, but you get the gist. A sudden vibration in my pocket distracted me from learning next words. It's not shining as well, as if desperately needed to get my attention. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I <laughs> slow and steady my hand and covered the mysterious object from the confines confinements of my clothes. A pocket watch. Not just any pocket watch, one with a beautifully crafted design of a hummingbird. A shine it shimmered and shaked and shaked and shimmered as if it was trying to tell me something. Open me, open me, open me. I couldn't hear Kana and Lennon anymore. The time had all but stopped when the but the pocket wretch kept on talking to me. My hand travelled over the hummingbird's feathers all the way down to the cover's edge. Open me. Clip. Oh, you gotta open it. <laughs> Date, huh? Time, huh? Location, huh? Mm. Huh? Ooh. With a slight heaviness in my body, I got on my feet and observed my surroundings. The place looked like a like an autumn park, but a few odd things stuck out. A tree with a small fairy door, a pond with unnaturally glistening water, a small clock with rings floating in the corner of the room. Ooh, how? But most, of her, but, but most of all, a person with overworldly appearance playing cards on a tree stump table in front of them. Oh, this is like the cosplayer they were mentioning, right? This is like bird cosplayer. This is so, this is such a cool like outfit. My stomach flipped. I've been here before. Are you going to stand there all day? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the moment he looked at me, I noticed his eyes were also out of the ordinary. They were red and imposing like a ruby. 
Awesome would say like to the self. You've really kept me waiting, little bird. Little... I mean, we all need a little bird, right? Little bird. I've beaten Devil's Grip like 50 times already. Really starting to get bored over here. What's Devil's Grip? Ah, uh... uh, or maybe... Could it be? Contrary to his disheveled, disheveled feathery costume, the man stood up and approached me with precise and elegant steps. Perhaps you're a little shy? Yes, that's me. Who are you? What is this place? For a moment, he seemed taken aback by my questions. Almost immediately, though, his raised eyebrows were replaced by a knowing stare and a mischievous grin. Right, where are my manners? They call me Invar. One of the sorcerers of time existing across the universe. A time reaper, if you will. A time... What, what, does, what, what does that mean? Welcome to the hourglass, little bird. Where time flies no more. So, birds. Where time is ripe for investigating the past and assessing the future. So there's no time, but there's still a present? Will it be all a waste of time, or will you have the time of your life? That only time will tell. That's a lot of time. <laughs> um, I'm afraid you've lost me. So, you're like a demon? A demon? I prefer to call myself a time reaper. But it's not, isn't reapers like a de uh, wait, what? Right. And this place, am I dead? Is this Limbo? Limbo would be... sad. My, what a curious little thing. Are you dead? Well, let me ask you something. Do you feel dead? No. I... what? What does death mean to you? Do you want to know if your heart has stopped beating? Or if your soul has gone to the afterlife? I thought they would happen at the same time, you know? Like... Um... both. I think. Okay. Well, aren't you greedy, little bird? The fuck you mean? Though, I can't say I dislike those who strive for knowledge. Just please tell me. I'm freaking out enough as it is. Hmm. Fair enough, I suppose. He looks so smug. Not every day you get crushed by a pillar, am I right? Huh? Huh. What did he say? It's not... Is that what happened? So, it wasn't a dream? Oh, definitely not, little bird. Definitely not. I had the best seat, after all. You were the, you were the bird. What? You were the bird. Wait. Like a playful rascal, Inver covered his mouth to faint in You innocent. were that crow. Right, you are. A crow. But then, if I... And Coach Chill made me shiver like a leaf. If I died, then what am I doing here? Living? Well, well, wouldn't you like to know? Yes. I'm not playing games here. Did you do something to me? What? What about my friends? Are they all right? Mm-hmm. Oh, whoa there. One question at a time, little bird. Can you speak faster, please? <sighs> I regret to tell you that no one survived that building's collapse. Fuck. Huh? If I could say anything, Inver held a palm in the air to stop my outburst. However, that was only in said timeline. So we can fix it. What do you mean? The you from this time is very much alive. So are your friends. Yay! Then, that means... I turn back time? How? Yay! Little bird, you wound me. Have you already forgotten what I told you? Yes. What? <gasps> oh, what? What I am. So, you saved us then. You gave me the pocket watch, right? Thank you so much. <laughs> it's not, he probably expects something in return. You flatter me. I only provided the opportunity. Okay. Not everyone knows how to use the talisman, or as you like to call it, the pocket watch. The fact that you did proves just how much you wanted, no, you needed, to 
to change this outcome. So he provided the tools, but I did it. Okay, that's, that's cool. It's husband? Otherwise, it would have been game over. Ta-ta. But why me, bro? Like... <laughs> oh, thanks for the encouragement. <sighs> but... Wait a second. If all the pocket watch did was turn back time, then... Everything will go down the same road. Not necessarily, right? We can change time. Not necessarily. That's what I said, bro. We we're literally into look like that. <laughs> huh? You've already noticed some changes, right? Mm -hmm. This time, your friend didn't tell you about the event using that weird rectangle you humans love to waste so much time on. Okay, you don't have to call me out like that, but alright. Instead, you heard her tell you about the tickets in real time, with her own voice. I did. I guess that's true. That still doesn't explain how the hell I'm able to remember the previous timeline, but not them. Who knows? Probably you're doing. He knows. He definitely knows. He, I guess he won't tell me, though. Be that as it may, time is money. If you don't want things to go down the same path, you'll have to do things differently. I see, I see. Time can stop only so much, after all. The hourglass is not almighty. Okay. The energy has to come from somewhere, you know? Yeah, energy cannot be created or destroyed. Then, what should I do? You suddenly gave me all these options, but no real explanation. What the hell am I supposed to do? In this situation, if I was in her shoes, I would literally be crying. Like, what, 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 what? Hmm. I, I really don't want things to end up the same way. I don't want my friends to die. Oh. I don't want to die. Well, no one wants to die. But we gotta, we gotta die someday, you know? I just hope that people die in peace and not in that weird, that no what, and not in that devastating, like, it must be devastating to die so abruptly, like, without being prepared, like, in, like, a natural disaster, holy, and the families, oh god, my tears kept overflowing without any signs of stopping, I bawled like I had it in the long while, trying to keep the anguish in was no use anymore. Very well. Huh? I will teach you how to use time magic. Yay! Really? Yes, really. It's no fun if I keep all the trump cards to myself, ain't it? There's no harm in giving you some hints. So he's like a playful type, I see. Why are you helping me? Am I, though? Time magic isn't without its consequences, you know. And bear in mind, at the end of it all, you outcome. will have to pay the price. I'm not a charity case. Okay, then. I suppose that's fair. As long as I can keep my soul, that is. Oh? But of course, little bird. I'm a time reaper, not a grim reaper. What's that mean? I'm confused. I don't really understand the difference. You will. So eventually. But still... <gasps> That doesn't explain why you reached out to me, and not the other people during the collapse. That's my question. My, you're a curious little bird, aren't you? Yes, I, I, that's all humans, really. I am. Oh, that's, oh. Hmm. Ha, <laughs> I just can't get enough of you. You want a reason? There's your reason. That's what the fuck? I find you interesting. So you play favorites, that's lovely. Huh? I don't know if I should be flattered or terrified. Now, come, little bird. No use to keep crying over spilled milk, am I right? It's time to learn. He lost time, okay. Welcome to the hourglass, little bird. Thank you. It's time I give you a crash course on time magic. I hope you're ready, because I won't be repeating myself. I uh, got it. Even if it's you. Okay. Jeez, put some pressure, will you? As I'm sure you've already noticed, the hourglass is a magical space. A pocket dimension, if you will, mm -hmm. where time stops altogether. Okay. I see. So, if I go back to my own dimension, then it'd be as if time had never passed? Mm -hmm. Precisely. You catch on fast, little bird. Okay. Stopping time is the main power provided by my talisman. 
or as you like to call it, the pocket watch. Pocket watch is nice, I'd say. Once you exit the hourglass, you'll be able to find it on the right side of the text box. Whenever you touch it, you'll be able to come here. Okay. If you're already in the hourglass, though, the talisman will be on the upper right of the screen. Okay. Click on it, and it will send you back to your own dimension. Okay. Okay. Simple enough. Very well. I guess it's time to finally show you around the hourglass, then. Mm-hmm. First of all, the fairy tree. The one with a little door. Okay. Click on it, and you'll access your collections or inventory. Oh! My inventory? What would I even put there? Magical... Uh, time items? Ha! <laughs> Good guess. Something like that. Memory shard, you said. Inside the fairy tree, you'll be able to store memory shards, mementos, and paradoxes. This sounds confusing, but I'll get it. Para... what now? Doxes. Let's go in order as to not get lost, shall we? Okay, okay. In other words, shut up and be patient. Blue and yellow memory shards are items you'll get whenever you make a choice that raises affection with a love interest. Think of it as a bonus for choosing correctly. Okay. While yellow shards represent more light-hearted memories, blue shards are for very powerful ones. Mm -hmm. Whenever you collect two yellow shards or three blue shards, you'll get a memento. Okay, so, okay, okay, I got it, like collecting, all right. Essentially, mementos are Polaroid pictures with a yellow or blue frame depicting special memories between you and your love interests. Okay. Why well, does this feel like I'm in some kind of atomic game? Because you are! Welcome! Wait, but how will I know if I made the right choice? I'll make sure you notice. Don't worry about that. Thanks, guys. Oh, boy. The other type of shards you can get are red shards, which are obtained when you investigate the time pond. Can you see it behind me on the lower right of the screen? Yes. Yeah, it's... One of the things that caught my eye when I got here. Kapow! Can you guys see it? There's a little blue, there's blue over there. Kapow! Sorry. <laughs> I'm not surprised. The time pond is the most special thing about this place. Dare I say the most important. Okay. The time pond will allow you to investigate the different areas you've been to in the past and find contradictory items. Inconsistencies, if you will. Think of it as if you were investigating a photograph from the inside, but only you were able to Ooh, move. That's actually really interesting. Okay. That's kind of about us. Inconsistencies? Like what? Hmm. Like finding a toothbrush on the street, for example. Or even something that wouldn't necessarily be weird per se, but that appears at the wrong time. Okay, so, oh, got it. Like, say, finding an event ticket at your house before your friend even gives it to you. Now, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? So, okay. Oh, I get it. Hmm, but still, how would I even know when to investigate the time pond? It'd be a bit of a bother to keep clicking the pocket watch every two seconds. You won't need to, little bird. The talisman will tell you when it's time. Yay! If you ever see it shining brightly, touch it quickly before it becomes dull again. Okay. Once you're in the hourglass, you'll notice that the time pond will have a shiny flower on top. That's your cue to enter the mini game. Okay. So there's mini games. Okay. I got it. So then once I'm investigating the time pond, I have to find the inconsistencies, right? Is that what will give me the red shards? Mm -hmm. Precisely. Every time you find an inconsistency, it will turn into a red shard. Lovely. Find three of them, and the shards will transform into a paradox. Then the paradox will be added to your inventory. What's a paradox? Just like the mementos, the paradoxes will also look like a blurry Polaroid picture, only with a red frame instead. Okay. But... Why are they blurry? You'll have to wait and see. 
It wouldn't be any fun to give you <laughs> all the answers after all. But this is a tutorial. Boo. And that little bird marks the end of this tour. Or tutorial as you humans Thanks call God. it. Thanks God. Hope you had fun learning about time magic. Uh-huh. Wait, what about the flying clock with wings? Oh, that's the Memento Gallery. You'll be able to see Ooh. all the CGs and background images over there. Similar to what you can already see on your rectangular thingy. Okay, interesting. So he comes from a time, like, old time before. You miss... Okay. Not as interesting as you. Pause. <laughs> Yo, what? What? Ta-ta, little bird. It's the end of the road. Yo, I... <laughs> What? Okay, I think I got the gist of it. Probably. Mm -hmm. Well, as they say, practice takes time. Okay. Ugh, give it a rest with the time puns, will you? He, he has so many, he will not stop. Oh? Not a fan of happy fun times? He He's literally, his whole thing is time, so let's, let's leave it. Oh my god, stop! Nick, Nick, are you hearing this? Bro, Nick, are you hearing this? I know, I know. How do you feel as a clock when he, when he, when he uh, insults you? I know. Okay, I'm going back. You're gonna go back. Oh! Does he even understand what he's saying? Oh, well. I suppose it's gotten a bit late. A bit. What? Did he say time stops it? I know what you're thinking, little bird, but my time magic can only maintain a human in the hourglass space for so long. Okay. I need to replenish my energy, or I'll be in a pickle. Okay. God, why didn't you say so before? I'll go back right now. Thank you, little bird. Do you remember how to get back? Yes. Yes. I just have to touch the pocket watch again, right? Mm -hmm. Invite me smiled and bowed his head low. Whether he was nodding or making a mock reference, I, reference, I don't know. All right, I'm going. Okay. I'm looking forward to our next meeting, Rin. Lovely. I'm not. <laughs> May 31st, 11.49pm. Rin's apartment. Bedroom. Uh, ma Magica. Oh, is it? The, the legendary game con tickets? It really didn't. It really didn't. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Holy shit, Kona, that's so cool. Ooh. Um, but you bet your ass it is. My bro gave them to me. I was thinking, why don't we go together? Yes, hi. <laughs> what do you say, Renny? Yes. Okay, you got this, Ren. Don't forget out the side. I'm in. I want to meet you guys in person. Aw. Woo. Go us. But Kana, where is the game con held? Aww. I know it's a long weekend, but. Oh yeah. Now that you mention it, last year's GameCon was in the middle of nowhere. Foo foo foo! Worry not, my friends. This is the year that'll change everything. Me? People? People really say foo foo foo? Oh, I didn't. Is that a common thing? Here it comes. This year, GameCon's being held at the Eon Building, a new building that opened up recently. And hear me out on this it's only one block away from Solstice's Main Street. Get out of here. Wait, are you serious? Damn right I am, dude. That's Stop. amazing. Right? You guys still live in Solstice City, don't you? Mm hmm? Gee. Yep. The conversation went along very similar to how it had been the first time around. Kana went on to explain all she knew about the Eon building as well as she got tickets from. Uh, how the tickets she got from Gavin was for Saturday, Saturday only. Since she had to work before the weekend and Sunday was too close to the beginning of the following week. Okay. The defense was that this time we were voice chatting instead of texting. Alright, this time has come for you to think of the best course of action. My first option is to try and meet Cannon's brother, Garvin, being an event planner at the GameCon. Helping him would, could probably allow me to get a lot of useful information. But it's a bit risky since I don't really know him except for what Cannon's told me about him. The other option is to let Cannon and know, know about the building's collapse. Obviously, I'm missing the part where I travel back in time, but maybe using some kind of excuse. Don't know the last mystery, so maybe a rumor would do the trick. He could think it's too stupid, though. Hmm. Okay, I made up my mind. Kana, can I ask you something? Yeah, what, girl, what, what, shoot. What do I ask? Um, well, to be honest, 
I'm really interested to learn about how the GameCon event works, so... Mm-hmm. Oh, this is embarrassing. Do you think I could meet Galvin? I promise I won't be a bother. I really want to help out. Maybe I could even offer a different perspective that he hasn't considered, too. I, I have a lot of confidence in my organization skills. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, the plot thickens. Okay. Uh, Kana? Ren. Uh huh. Oh, no, did I say something wrong? Renny! Oh, oh, we didn't. Okay, we didn't. We didn't. Huh? Egat! I think you broke her, Ren. I'm sorry. What? What? Huh? Uh, sorry. I got emotional for a second there. You really want to help my bro? Yeah. Um, yes? Is there a problem? No, Renny, no! It's the opposite! Galvin is so obsessed with perfectionism that he takes it too far sometimes. <laughs> That's so real. Way too far. That's so real, though. I think it'll be good for him if he has a comrade he can rely on, you know? He's the personification of the if you want things done right, do them yourself mentality. <laughs> I see. I'll go, I'll have a go myself into you. Um, but won't he reject the offer if he's such a lone wolf? Nah, don't worry your pretty little head about it. Leave it to me. Mm -hmm. I've got a plan. Nice. I'm doomed. Foo, foo, foo. I got you this time, bro. Aw, oh, this, oh, this is so cute. I love the well, boyfriends. Uh, it was nice meeting you, Ren. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Lonan. This isn't funny. And also, I kind of like, on meeting Kevin the next day at Solstice Main Street. Will I really be okay? Ooh. Chapter 2 to bed. Okay, we're gonna end here, guys, because it's been an hour. And, yeah. And I didn't really... I didn't... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really expect it. How do I exit? How do I, how do I exit? Oh, there it is. But I was so confused. I was like, how do I? Okay. Into menu. Okay, guys. This was Hummingbird's Crown. This was a really good, um, timing game. I love the, um, like the hourglass thing. Like, what the hell? I did not know you could, you could, um, this is the thing. Like, I didn't, I haven't, I haven't seen that in a, um, a timing game before. This was a really interesting concept. I love the art as well and the story is really interesting so let's see where it takes us um yeah so let's just uh goodbye everyone say goodbye to me everyone bye 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 bye